right. Just wait for the mic. Look at Kevin Gray, Mavs Radio Network. Uh, Two-part question. One, how are you feeling after game two as far as the uh, chest area is concerned? And two, for you, what have you learned about yourself through the first couple of games with the intensity of the finals and how you're managing that so far in this series? Uh, first, I feel good. I don't want to get any more details, uh, but I feel good. Uh, second one, uh, the intensity, the physical, uh, you said intensity and physicality. I think it's up a notch for sure. Uh, you know, uh, both teams played a lot of games throughout the season, uh, but I think the physicality has been on point for sure. Standing on your right. Luca, Eric Mora de Telemundo Dallas. ¿Cómo está el equipo y cómo manejan esa presión en cara al juego número 3 después de haber caído los primeros dos juegos? ¿Cómo manejar tanto en grupo esa presión como tú individualmente? ¿Cómo la manejas? No, estamos bien. Uh, hemos perdido dos, todavía no hemos perdido cuatro. Uh, así que uh, todas las miradas están en el, en el partido 3 y hay que ir a por todas. Mark, on, your, on the left side. Raise your hand. There you go. Mark Spears, ESPN Zanscape. Did um, playing for Madrid in 18, does that prepare you for the finals or, or is this like that atmosphere or is this totally different? Uh, I would say it's different. Uh, just being 18 and 25 is a big difference. Uh, but just, you know, it's different games. Here you play first of four. Uh, in the EuroLeague, it's just one game. So it's, it's way different. Uh, but I wouldn't just say... Uh, that game prepared me for now. Uh, you know, it's been throughout my career that prepared me for this moment. On your right, second row. Luca, por acá, Pedro Silva, Univision Dallas. ¿Cuál es el mensaje que se le puede dar a los aficionados que van a asistir al juego de mañana y también al viernes para el tercer y cuarto partido? Y también preguntarte si llegaste a ver el partido hablando del Real Madrid contra el Murcia de los, de los playoffs. Uh, sí, uh, mi mensaje es: estoy uh, a creer en nosotros, en uh, no hemos perdido todavía. Y sobre todo vamos a jugar en casa eh, con todos los aficionados. Eh, sé que van a estar muy bien y va a hacer mucho ruido. Y sí, sí, he visto el partido. Eh, bonito todo lo que han hecho por Rui. On your left, standing over here. Hey, Lucas, you're at Sohi from The Ringer. I wanted to ask you about a pass that you made in the third quarter to Exum. Uh, the last game, it was the behind the back. Bueno. I was just curious if that was a, is that something where you actually were able to see him or do you kind of intuit that that's the spot he's going to be in? Uh, I saw him before, you know, when I started driving, uh, I saw him at that spot. Uh, so when I went for layup, I saw two of me, I know he was going to be open. All the way back in the right. Luca Jesus Quiñones on Telemundo. Eh, preguntarte, ¿qué ha hecho también la defensa de Boston para poder limitar la, el ataque de Dallas? Bueno, yo creo que tienen jugadores muy buenos defensivos uh, y bueno, la verdad que nosotros no hemos metido muchos tiros. Uh, había algunos abiertos, algunos no, uh, pero están muy, están muy físicos con nosotros y nosotros tenemos que aprovechar eso. Third row over here on this left. Uh, Luca, Dante Exum spent more time playing next to you and Kyrie last game. Seemed like you were able to get off the ball, play in more off-ball actions, and he pushed the pace quite a bit. Uh, how helpful is it having him next to you and uh, Kyrie? Uh, very helpful, you know. Uh, he can dribble the ball. Uh, he played point guard. Uh, so he can help us both, you know, uh, save our save our energy. Uh, he can just bring the ball up, and he can, he can make plays too. So uh, it's good that he was able to find. Standing on the left. Luca, they've been sort of changing their spacing around trying to make you and Kyrie be the low men or in, in help responsibility more often. What kind of challenges that present for you, especially when you're dealing with such a big load offensively, to have to do the help defense on so many of those possessions? I mean, our, our defense is built in five guys, you know. Uh, our low man is very important. Uh, so no matter who is the low man, we know we're going to do a great job. Uh, we've been working on this the whole season, preseason. Uh, so I've been in that position a lot, you know, with the low men. Uh, we've been working on it since preseason, so uh, we feel confident with that. On your right, fourth row. Luca, buenos días. ¿Qué influencia puede tener el ritmo de juego de un equipo o de otro en el resultado final, de acuerdo a lo que estás viendo en el juego uno y dos? ¿Puedo repetir? ¿Qué influencia puede tener el ritmo de juego, el pace, ah, sí. entre un equipo y otro, eh, en el juego uno y dos, y qué es lo que más le conviene a Dallas? 
Sí, nosotros queremos jugar rápido. Creo que en el segundo partido hicimos eh, mucho mejor con el ritmo. Uh, creo que jugamos más rápido uh, que en el primero y por eso hemos tenido la oportunidad. Estábamos más cerca, eh, pero todavía nos, nos queda. Podemos jugar con más ritmo. Sí, en el You know, you guys obviously wouldn't be here without your role players hitting a bunch of big shots throughout the playoffs. Those shots hadn't fallen in the first couple of games for the most part. Uh, what do you say to guys, you know, the, the PJs, the uh, D. Jones, Maxis, and, and kind of what sense do you have as far as how they're feeling right now uh, offensively? Just one thing, you know, just keep shooting. Uh, we all believe in those shots. Uh, that's how we, we came to the finals. Uh, And that's how we play the whole season. Uh, we believe in those guys. Everybody believes. Uh, so if you're open, just keep shooting. You know, And then you're gonna knock it down at some point. Tim, here in the second row. Luca, along those lines, kind of, you've mentioned confidence and belief. Yes, you guys are home, and Boston held serve at home like, like they're supposed to. But what are some of the things that you really can look at from those first two games and say? That's going to work for us. Like, what are some of the things you can look at from one and two and say we're confident in this? <clears throat> um, just trying to keep uh, keep getting open looks. Uh, I think our defense has not been bad, uh, but just we can't really score. Uh, that's our main problem right now. Uh, but I think we're getting some great looks. And like I said, you know, we have confidence. That everybody can make a shot. Uh, they're shooting the ball in our team. Uh, so we just got to keep believing it. Thank you, Luca. Thank you.